Here in this question it is given that triangle A, B, C and triangle B, D, C are isosceles triangles. Means in triangle A, B, C this A, B equal to A, C and in triangle B, D, C B, D equals to C, D and we need to prove first is that triangle A, B, D is congruent to triangle A, C, D. So, if we say here, in these two triangles, here in these two triangles, triangle A, B, D and triangle A, C, D, A, B equal to A, C because these are uh, A, B, C is isosceles triangles, so it is given A, B equal to A, C. Similarly, B, D equals to C, D is also given and this A, D is common in these both triangles. So, by side, side, side congruency, these two triangles are congruent which is the first part. Now from here this first part we will consider here that this angle angle 1 will be equals to angle 2 by CPCT. So this is the first case that this AD bisects angle A. Now here in these both triangles triangle ABD and triangle ACD AB equal to AC because it is given BC B D equals to C D that is also given at A D A D is common. So these both triangles are congruent by side 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 congruency. So therefore angle 1 equals to angle 2 that is A D bisects angle A. Now the second case triangle A B P A B P and triangle A C P here in these triangles A B equal to A C which is given angle 1 equals to angle 2 this we have proved and AP is common here in both the triangles so therefore these two triangles also congruent by side angle side congruency from this congruency we will use two results here that angle 3 this angle 3 will be equals to angle 4 by CPCT and BP equals to PC also by CPCT so if BP equal to uh, CP it means AP bisects this BC base BC now in triangle B P D and triangle C P D B D equal to B D equal to D C which is given here B P equal to C P we have proved in second part and angle 3 equals to angle 4 that also we have proved in second part so by these three conditions these two triangles are congruent and if these two triangles are congruent then we can say that this angle angle 6 angle 5 equals to angle 6 if angle 5 5 equals to angle 6 angle 5 equals to angle 6 then we can say that this DP bisects angle BDC so now we need to prove only that AP is perpendicular bisector of BC so for that because angle 3 and 4 are equal as we proved in second part here the these are these both are for me linear pair and if in linear pair both the angles are same so the uh, each angle is 90 degree so it means this is perpendicular and because we have proved that BP and PC are equal also these are bisected so this is AP is perpendicular bisector of BP BC now because here angle 3 equals to angle 4 their sum is 180 degree because these are forming linear pair so angle 3 equals to 90 degree so it means if angle 3 is 90 degree so AP is perpendicular to BC and because it is also we have proved that BP equals to PC so this AP is perpendicular bisector of BC so this is the proof of all these four parts